Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about the importance of our lat work to build our grip strength. In fact, I'll go so far as to say that this should be our primary tool in building our grip. And you know, I'll get people who will say things like, well, you know, my grip gives out when I do rowing or pull-ups or, or lat pull-downs or whatever it is that they're doing. You'll hear people say this and like, and it's limiting my back development if unless I wear straps, which is just absolutely ludicrous. Uh, because in my case, you guys see my back when I've done shirtless stuff, people freak out at the size of my lats and everything. Uh, my back is very well developed and I don't use straps outside of uh, rep work on deadlifts, right? If I'm doing higher rep work on deadlifts, which I'm not doing these days, um, I'll strap up for that just to save my hands from being shredded with a really coarse deadlift bar. Right? That's something that you'll see me do, but otherwise I don't do that. I don't do that at all. And accordingly, notice I've got great grip strength. Uh, I have big forearms. You guys will notice even I do some of my stuff with a fat bar, right? I'm very well, known for that uh, for those who've watched my vlogs long term of having entire phases where I do all my pulling with the axle bar which is far far more difficult on our grip you guys will notice most of my lifters uh, they, they do the same thing right we're over here just doing this stuff you know straight just using our grip to do these things and in fact I caught one of my lifters the other day who hadn't been sending me some of his supplemental work and he sent me his rows and he's strapping up for one arm dumbbell rows and then cheating like crazy and I'm like you're cheating so much that you're using actually slightly heavier dumbbells than I use and your back isn't as big as mine so what does that tell you about just trying to cheat on a dumbbell row like it's telling you it's not working in the, the amount of time it's taking him to wrap his hand each time because he's doing five sets and I caught him doing that you know he would wrap each one he'd have to get wrapped around it do one arm then let go rewrap it to do the second the second hand and so he's having to wrap the straps ten times to do five sets and then it's, and it's literally one of my lifters who complains about gym time you know, so I actually have to keep his workouts kind of fairly tight to get him out of the gym in a timely manner. And then he's wasting time with silly crap like that just so that he can cheat. And I'm like, no, you need to control the weight. You know, watch my, my people here. Watch my people in these videos. We're controlling our rows, right? We're bringing them to our chest, not down to our hip. So we're doing a full range of motion on this rowing. All right, see what she's doing, full range of motion. And we're doing it raw. All right, this works. The only time you should be needing straps to do rows is if you're doing heavy cheat rows. All right, particularly if they're, they're bent over type rows and you're using a little bit of body English to uh, cheat the weight up. And that's different because that's more of a full body exercise that you're doing, All right? A heavy cheat row it's going to be usually too heavy for you to grip. I mean, because in my case, I can do them with 315 if I need to, for sets of 10. But, you know, you have to look at the, the cost. You're also missing out on your grip strength, and they're actually hard on recovery. And I'm not saying they're a bad exercise. I've used them on occasion. Uh, I have friends who use them who are big and jacked. But, Again, these are these are very, very, very advanced elite lifters who are messing with stuff like this. Most of you shouldn't be. You know, I mean, if you're a sub 500 pound deadlifter, something like that shouldn't even be on your radar. <laughs> Sorry guys, let's just be honest about it. And I'm over a 600 pound deadlifter and you rarely see me do them, all right? All right, this is, this is our primary grip training. This is our primary grip training. And here's the other thing, you know, you're missing out on building your grip, right? You're missing out on building your grip. You're building less forearms. I mean, if you want big, thick forearms, build your grip, right? Do tons of exercises like this that builds your grip up. Your forearms will get bigger. They'll get thicker. Your flexors, your extensors, your radial brachialis, all those things will grow as a result of doing this. I don't grow as a result of doing this. 
And, and ironically, the same people who are worried about shortchanging their back development, well, they're shortchanging their, their forearm development, right? They're shortchanging their grip, and grip is important. I don't care if, if you compete in powerlifting or not. Having strong grip strength is valuable all the way around. It's valuable for lots of sports. It can be valuable in the real world. Uh, and again, there's even been studies that have correlated grip strength in old age with cognition now people could say well that that's not necessarily causation because you know people who are just fit and active probably have better cognition anyways lower rates of dementia and, and there's truth to that but there's definitely been a correlation found with grip strength and and what i'm saying is you shouldn't ignore that and i meet too many guys out there like this and i get clients who are like well i want a big deadlift but i know the straps don't count yeah I'm like they don't count you know, and they have really big deadlifts with straps, but they when they take them off, they don't because they haven't built their grip up because they've been strapping up since early on. And then when they need to use their grip for anything, they don't have it. They don't have it. It's not there. All right. And deadlifts are not your solution because let's be honest. If we're doing mixed grip on deadlifts, is that going to build your grip strength? Probably not that well. Not as well as a dumbbell row. That's for sure. Not even in the ballpark. Not as well as a pull-up. Not going to build your grip strength on the same level that they will because of that mixed grip. And you can't double overhand because then your deadlift turns into a grip exercise, not a deadlift. It doesn't build the other stuff. So if you're doing reps on deadlifts, we're usually trying to build, you know, the posterior chain up, the back, all these things. That's why we would do that. And to, you know, help us learn the movement pattern better. Well, that's well and good, but now for double overhanding it, that's weak. It, the grip does become our limit. On something like a deadlift, it becomes a problem for us. It becomes a problem for us. So, that's not the workable solution. <clears throat> the solution is to do all of your lat work in this manner. And again, I understand if you're doing heavy cheat rows, but also if you're doing heavy cheat rows, that better not be the only thing you're doing for your back. You better be coming in and doing some dumbbell rows or, or pull-ups or something else with it. Uh, because again, we don't do just one exercise for, for a muscle group. Right? That is not ideal. It's not optimal. So that's not an excuse to be strapped up on everything else. You come and do a bunch of volume with some dumbbell rows after. Okay. And here's what I'll go even further and say, if grip is an issue and you need to build it up quicker, start doing some of your pulling with a fat bar on top of it. You need to be going the opposite direction, right? If grip is limiting you on some of these movements and you need to work really hard on building it quicker. And that would mean, again, maybe do a lot more axle bar work to offset the weakness that you have so that it gets caught back up so that it's not a weak link on these other movements. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.